There we go. Take care of my favorite CD, babe. Oh no, Kings of Leon almost got destroyed. Yeah, this one, that one, I'm mad at you. That's why I was playing. It works good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm recording now. Mm. Yeah, we're we're doing the <laughs> review of Benno's uh, CD that just got done. We had to pack up the old Kings of Leon in a decent way so that uh, it doesn't get destroyed. It's Kaylin's favorite record. We're also going hiking because it's my birthday. I'm 33 years old. So, what the heck? Let's go to uh, Split Rock Creek State Park and uh, gonna do some geocaching on the way. Load it up with stickers. For the old caches, as we do. Um, so, yeah, Kaylin uh, did the layout for this, which as. Um, of October now is quarter four she is a partner in the business she is 30% and she laid out the website got it formatted so that I could type all the bios and get the ins and outs that I wanted to for the store and whatnot uh, yeah these songs were recorded 2009 to 2014 so 2009 we were in Big Sky Montana and um, ben had gone out there first because his brother was out there and then I was sick of being in Wilmer and living in a ghetto basement and uh, having kind of a dumpster life so I called Ben up and said hey you still got a room out there he goes yep 250 a month got a condo and big sky sweet sounds good and Benno had been uh, playing bass for the Robin Hood Hills he had been uh, playing in bands when we were in high school after the Richards graduated and I was still in my junior and senior year So, you know, and we played hockey together growing up. Maybe we've always been friends and when he uh, had me out in Big Sky We started working acoustic guitars more and uh, Then Jake came out and we started really getting on the uh, Train of folk acoustic indie whatever you want to call it and uh, so yeah, we started working on this then and the last tracks are from 2014 which we recorded at Anthony's sister's house in the basement for Robin and Hill's demos but then we never used them so well I should show that I suppose before I just start popping stuff in um, but yeah this is the cover and it's um, the original painting was done by Jake in Big Sky and this is like a section of it kind of cropped it whatever and then uh, track list and such and the catalog number is DMR003. So we're at that point where we can have catalog numbers now because we have more than one release. The first pressing of Dreams, Dreams, and Songs is 001. The sampler volume one is uh, DMR002. And now uh, Benno, a collection, 2009 to 2014, is DMR003. Sweet. Um, and then the disc itself has a picture of Benno playing. Uh, this is from the acoustic show that we did at McKinney's last year that Dave just kind of impromptu put on and became kind of a meeting in the meeting of the minds for disc mill records players and uh, folks that we've met in Starbuck, uh, Will Campbell and The Traveler and uh, Vintage Joe and stuff like that. So it's kind of like the beginning of our network growing before we formed the LLC. So uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's where that picture was taken and made him look uh, cartoony because it's awesome. Yeah. Give her a spin. Hold on. Hold on. Mode. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
remember he had a, this notebook that was like this big. It was called a. You ever see those little fatties? Yeah, it's like a fat stack of notebook, but the page number is this big. And he left it in the bathroom downstairs, and like he was scratching lyrics and that. It's kind of how he had this. And he had a couple chords, and so I kind of helped him structure them a little better. And like, all right, let's demo this thing. One microphone in the room. And, uh, was ever intended to be a Robin Hill song, but for some reason I sang on the bridge.
think McLaughlin actually, if we ever do go to Big Sky on like a vacation like we've been talking, I think it's, I don't know if it's in North Dakota or if it's in Montana, but there's a long stretch of 94. It's either 94 or Highway 90, it's one of the two, but it basically goes all the way across once you hit Fargo, straight across to Montana, and then you gotta start coming south to get the Big Sky. There are 100 mile stretches with no gas stations, no towns, no nothing, and I'm fairly certain one of them is called the Coughlin. I think that's where the name comes from. We gotta get confirmation with him on that. Because I know like Miles City and stuff like that, but that was a bigger town that's like on the North Dakota border. That'd be terrifying not knowing when you, you can get When you see a gas station, you top off. It doesn't matter if you're half tank, whatever, like you do not know what can happen when you're out there. Like all my doomsday prepping, you've got to have that mindset when you're cutting across that highway. Like if I got stuck here, would I be okay for a while? I did not do that when I was in Daytona. I was overheating the entire time and nearly died. No big deal. It's awesome stuff. <laughs> I'll have to look. We, do, we have a couple different cuts of right kind of man, and I think we chose the same style for the record. No, we chose the pretty one. Thank God. I mean, the, the garage one's cool, but.
soul connects with something bigger and something better. Sometimes I wish I had never met her, but then again, I'm glad she never met somebody better. I mean, if that line doesn't give you chills, something will. That's freaking true. They say what doesn't kill you will only make you stronger. What's funny is when we did the party for drink streams and songs Benno did an acoustic set I think we've got one video of him on the YouTube channel and uh, there was like kids and stuff there and like I gave everybody this big speech before they played like please keep it clean there's a bunch of kids here and I don't want it to get weird thank you God bless America and everybody was super good about it Benno plays this song and I'm like oh maybe he's gonna practice a little self-censorship that usually goes well I can't. I try. It's hard. It always either comes out sounding fake or I forget that I'm supposed to do that. And there's all these little kids around and I'm super like weird about it because, you know, whatever. And I say that's bullshit! <laughs> it's like, I was just standing in the back like, well, it's over with now, so I'm moving on. <laughs> it's good stuff. I hope that's the one that we got on video because that'd be memorable. I think he actually covered Jake's tune, Big Sky, or uh, Blue Skies. I think that's the one that's on the YouTube channel. I don't know. This is the first song you have to play in every new house that you've moved into. Yep. Yup.
Oh yeah, I know the song, but no. I don't get it. I don't either, but literally every time yes. that song pops in my head. This is the prettiest version of this song that's ever been recorded. We've only recorded it about 17 times. It's just such a good song, we don't know how to get it right. So then the Robin and Hills try to play it. We've done one microphone version, so we got this version. We got a full band version, but it's acoustic guitars. And now last winter we just recorded an electric Robin and Hills version of it.
so I, I could be wrong, I really don't remember. It's only five years ago, you can understand. geocache first to find you get that ftf you're in charge so yeah okay anything else i i missed awesome oh yeah discmillrecords.com it's a place for stuff that's our tagline i think i can use a little work yeah fine all right cheers everybody